Reading, to change or not to change. If you are having trouble with your job target decision, here is a short process that will help. First, refer back to your skills assessment exercise. Separate five major skills and list them on paper. Second, analyze what you've written. Mix and match your skills and interests. Do not be bound by any inflexible ideas. Don't limit yourself about combinations reflecting past job titles. Third, write down your combinations of interests and skills and list titles of jobs you feel incorporate them. List titles of jobs you feel you would not or could not do. Use your imagination. List everything that comes to mind. Fourth, narrow down your exploratory job possibility list in accordance with how practical you feel this title would be as a real ta job target for you. Finally, list two or three job targets you would be willing to pursue with energy. Caution. If you target only jobs relating to your skills, your work may lack the essential element of interest that keeps you motivated and satisfied. On the other hand, if you choose work based only on your interests, you may not possess the skill level needed to be successful. Choose the job targets best representing your skill, interests, satisfaction and practicality and that could offer you the satisfaction. To change or not to change. It makes sense that you want to do the same work you have been doing in the past. You went into that kind of work because it appealed to you. A potential problem is that people continue to lose their jobs in your line of work. You may be a perfect example. To stay in your field, you need to be able to answer some questions such as According to the employment agencies, how much demand is there for the work I do? Are there lots of other people looking for my type of work? Is there reason to believe that the demand for my type of skills will pick up soon? Would I be willing to move if it meant finding work in my current field? Would I be willing to take a cut in salary and or benefits if it meant I could work in my current field? Would updating my skills or education mean I could work in my field? Am I willing and able to get that training? You need reassuring answers to each of these questions, otherwise you will spend months or longer looking for a job that no longer exists. Or you could actually find such a job and then lose it again a short time later. Maybe you want to make a career change because your previous career just isn't offering opportunity or security anymore. You may also have personal reasons for switching careers, such as your desire to work different hours to better accommodate the needs of your family. You may have other professional reasons for changing, such as a desire to work more with people and less with computers or vice versa. Perhaps the most important reason for switching careers is this. I've always thought I'd like to do this kind of work. Thank you for listening.